Hello everyone, Creative Inners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will learn how to design this beautiful Excel dashboard and you can see it's pretty easy, simple to understand and all the charts are arranged in a horizontal order and you just have to scroll to view the charts left and right. That's it and in the end you have this information like thank you or you can add some notes. So today we will learn how to design this so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like and share so let's begin so this is the sample dashboard here we have some numbers related to traffic data of a website like visits page views bounce rate exit rate and traffic in terms of organic paid direct social and referral then we have these page views by countries and then we have these total numbers for all the you know kpis and i have arranged all these numbers in this format and all these are interrelated like if you just change one number the total will change as well so it's uh, you know uh, complete data and let's begin our tutorial and the very first step is to just remove the grid lines and add some light color in the background it's better if you keep it like light gray then change the font make sure all the cells are selected and then change the font now go to shapes and insert the circle now duplicate the circle as well now we have to remove the outlines from both these circles now change the color to white on the second circle and on the first circle slightly increase its height and width you can zoom in to make the job easier make sure the height and width are same otherwise it will look like oval So in Excel, designing is similar to PowerPoint. However, there are certain elements which are not present in you know, Microsoft Excel like merge shapes. You cannot subtract the shapes. You, can, you cannot design those custom shapes. And in PowerPoint, you can do that. And if you really want to design custom shapes, you can create those in PowerPoint and you can paste them here as well. So now once these two circles are you know, arranged, and stacked together on the top circle you have to add some nice gradient color you don't have to follow what I have filled here try to create your own gradient styles and see what you can do here and keep on changing the gradient type gradient stops then transparency then angles you can also use presets so all these options are available under this gradient fill options now again insert a circle or, or you can duplicate this white circle and delete these two nodes so that a points so that you will get a semicircle now we have to fill white color here but in the form of gradient now arrange it like this for that you can use the align options like align top and align right now semicircle is perfectly aligned over our gradient circle now we have to you know increase the transparency on one of the gradient stops which is towards the bottom and then you have to slightly change the angle so that it looks more realistic and and it should look nice now you can see a beautiful effect is coming out and it is looking very natural and look at this so 
you know arranging this gradient and color styles will take some time and you will you know get to know more about it once you will start doing it start adding gradient colors now again duplicate this white circle reduce its size and paste it here like towards the darker part of this gradient increase the transparency now again duplicate increase its size and make it oval and place it here now you can change the gradient angles further to match the style and you can see now it's coming out really nice now insert this rounded rectangle here reduce the roundedness remove its outline fill white color and then send to back now we have to apply the inward shadow and for that you have to select the circle and select this shadow effect and change the shadow color to something like dark blue increase the transparency you can adjust the blurness as well also if you want to change the distance you can try totally up to you there are there are no set rules like you have to follow these numbers only you just have to you know try and see what looks good here reduce the height of this rounded rectangle here and now you can see a beautiful shape here so this is our placeholder for data and the related insights of the kpi but before that we have to draw the circle so this is our you know this is the placeholder to you know to mention like uh, the total number or the main kpi information here so here we will add total visits the sum of visits go to text insert and go to formula bar type equal to go to sheet one select the text that you want to present here now it is connected with the data sheet that is present on the sheet one now you don't have to change anything here you, you just have to format it here every time you will change the text on sheet one it will reflect here you don't have to change anything on this dashboard all the information is dynamic now on this circle as well press equal to select total visits here and it's done now you just have to you know format the you know size font color make it bold if you want change the text color as well so you can see it's almost almost finished we just now need the visits chart here for that you have to select the data months and the visits month wise insert a line chart cut the chart from there paste it here remove the heading remove these numbers remove these rows as well or lines change the text font on the chart to monster at to match the theme style remove its fill remove the lines change the text color to white and now we have to change the line color as well make sure it fits inside this beautiful circle Now once it is placed we need to smooth the line but before that adjust the font now select the line here change the color to white adjust the width and click on smooth line and here is your chart but we also need the title, 
that is widgets and you can add widgets here it's pretty simple right widgets change the text font to white align it to center increase the font size so yeah it's done so the first chart is done similarly you have to create all the charts but here is the catch you don't have to draw the charts again and again you just have to copy this complete set paste here and you have to recreate the chart only and change the information on the sheet one and it will reflect here change the chart title here make sure the title is in one line and here you have to select the data and now we have to mention the page views here select the month then page views press ok and now we have the page views here but we have to change the chart settings again remove the chart outline and here change the line color to white increase its width and now you can see it's done here you have to change the total page views for that you have to select the formula bar and refer it to the right cell that is 22 make sure the formatting is same and it matches with the formatting present on the widgets circle change the font color to dark blue so similarly we have to create the next chart as well so the process is similar and you can do it easily so the steps are repetitive here so i have you know fast forwarded the video because whatever you have followed in the first chart the steps are same also you can notice that i have slightly changed the gradient tone on each chart the bottom part of the gradient is same but the top part behind the text the title of the chart i have slightly changed the color so this gives you know a different look to each chart so you can think of amazing shapes and styles to create beautiful charts in excel as well you don't have to follow those typical charts and styles but you can you know leverage the shapes and styles to create your own unique concepts to showcase information after all it's a visual storytelling or the visual you know representation of your achievements your numbers and you have all the rights to showcase it as you want so you can use different styles and shapes and create multiple combinations and you can present the data also you can add infographics as well in excel now we have created all the charts in the line and now add the title of this dashboard so you can do some text formatting here like you can present it in like two lines increase the font size of executive and keep the font size small for the dashboard and duplicate write the you know financial year or the report number anything you want and you can write it here on the left and all the charts are horizontally stacked on the right so you can see the overall concept is very simple nothing complex and 
very easy and scrollable chart and dashboard you just have to move this bottom navigation bar left and right that's it now select the row above the charts and fill light color here you can fill white as well or light gray anything you want and similarly below the charts select one row and fill the color so this is the overall dashboard within these few rows now select this column and select freeze paints but now i have to find where is freeze paints so here you go under the view tab you can find freeze paints it will freeze the column and now you just have to scroll left and right to view each chart read the number and insights so overall this concept looks amazing and you can see it's very easy to you know read the information from left to right and and in the end you can add some message as well or some note or some information so like we can write like thank you content here some contact information or anything so this is just a dummy text i'm writing so if you like this concept please hit the like button please subscribe to our channel please join the membership and also do not forget to you know download this uh, template from the g drive link you just have to refer the description below this video and you can see this overall concept is looking amazing so you can try these different shapes and styles to showcase information you just have to think and you can create such concepts so i hope you will like this video please subscribe to our channel join the membership and hit like button we will see you guys in the next video till then bye bye see ya